everyone, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to make a background like this background that you're seeing in front of me inside of Adobe Photoshop. Now, as you guys can probably already tell, that is an awesome, awesome background. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and make a background like this, which looks like it has sort of a cardboard background with some little paper things in the background with text that looks like this and sort of a embedded ink blot like this right here. Now I'd have to say my inspiration for learning how to design this was from a video I was watching from Tinkernut Remix, which basically what he was uh, showing how to do is how to uh, make his logo intro inside of Adobe After Effects. And uh, basically I took upon this and I thought it looked pretty cool and I wanted to duplicate something that looked like that but in Photoshop. And instead I got something completely different. What I got was this back here. And this was just so cool I thought I just had to show it to you guys. So first let me go ahead and play a little bit of the video to go ahead and show you what exactly is he made. So let me just play that. That's what the entire. Uh... And that's pretty much what he made. That was pretty much how his intro went along. And well, basically, I tried to duplicate the sort of effect like halfway through it, where it was like fading in. Like I tried to make something that looked a little bit like that only in Photoshop and I got this. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make what I got right here. And so part of it takes along some of the tutorial that he did, but other parts of it are completely different. And this is in Photoshop instead of After Effects. So anyway, to go ahead and do this, you're actually going to need some stock images, which I'll provide in the video's description. You will first of all need this paper texture right here, which I'll go ahead and provide in the description. And you'll also need this cardboard texture which I'll provide in the description. Wait, wait, that is a really freaking ugly ad over here. I'm just saying that's not a flattering image. So yeah, so you'll also need this uh, cardboard image right here. And then the last thing that you will need is you will need a little ink droplet like this ink droplet you're seeing back here. To go ahead and get one, I actually found one off of YouTube like this right here. And what I did was I actually just took a screenshot of this entire YouTube page. So for on a PC, you would just pr press the print screen button post it into Photoshop and then go ahead and crop it out. If you're on a Mac you would hold down Command Shift and 3 to go ahead and com take a screenshot of it. And so basically all you need to do is take a screenshot of this video page right here. So just to show you that I've got a screenshot, here is the little screenshot that I got right here. So as you see this is pretty much all we need. And then over here I have my Oh, that's the wrong old paper background so sorry about that so over here we have my uh, little paper background right here and then here I have my cardboard background so anyway let's go ahead and get started with the video so anyway first we go and open up Photoshop so here I have Photoshop open and here is what my finished product officially looked like so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the cardboard background and I'm going to drag it into Photoshop and we're gonna start out with just this blank cardboard background I'm gonna unlock the layer for you guys just so we can go ahead and do that right here. Oh, and uh, P.S. I might have to go ahead and uh, just reference back to the image which I did to show you guys what I did because I'm having kind of an off day, guys. I slammed my finger in a door. It was actually a really dramatic experience for me, but I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to hear about my personal problems. So, yeah. So the first thing you want to do after that is you want to go ahead and drag in your paper text. So we'll go ahead and drag in our paper texture. Then just go ahead and drag that on top of the cardboard texture like this and we're going to set it to color burn. Once that's there we're going to go here and we're going to change our opacity down so it looks a little something like this. So you get sort of the you know burned in background like you see right here it's a burned in background and here is a burned in background as well. I think this had a little le less opacity than this did but we're going to pretty much go ahead and let it slide. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our text so we can pretty much figure out where we're going to put our ink droplet. So we're going to create a new layer and we're going to grab our text tool and I'm actually using the font chalk duster. I really don't know where I got this font or if it came on my computer or whatever so uh, pretty much if you guys are looking for the font I'm using just go on a font website and look up chalk duster or just look for chalk duster because I really don't remember how I got this font. So I'm just going to type in my text. So A11021085. I did that all with my index finger so I didn't have to hurt my hurt finger. 
So now we're just going to center it, and then there we go. There's our text right here. We're going to leave it like that for now, just so we can go ahead and figure out where to put our ink droplet. Now we have to import our ink droplet. So as you see here, I've got the screenshot with my ink droplet. So we're going to import that whole screenshot into Photoshop. So now we're in there. Now we're going to go ahead and crop it down. So I'm going to press Command and Plus to go ahead and just zoom in on the window right here so I know what I'm doing. Then I'm going to grab the Crop tool, and I'm going to crop around my ink droplet. So around right there, click enter, and then there we have our ink droplet. I'm also just going to crop a little bit more. So we'll go right here and uh, wait. Crop some more, just like around the outer edges. Make it perfect. And no more white. That's pretty much good. And uh, hold on, guys. I'm being extremely, extremely picky with this. So... I might just go ahead and fast forward, but pretty much that is what we're going to be working with, this part of the ink droplet right here. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take that ink droplet and drag it into your main composition, and we'll full screen the window here, and then we can just close out of that and don't save. And now you want to press Command and T or Control and T to go ahead and bring up your resizing options. Hold on Shift and then just drag it out until you get the big, big ink droplet the way you want to. Then maybe we can resize this down a little bit. We'll drag it over here and then we'll click enter. And now then as you notice we have our resized ink droplets. So now now we have to get rid of the black background of it. So to go ahead and do that, we're actually gonna go over here and we're gonna press the little eyes to hide all the other layers. And then we're gonna go up here to select, make sure we're selected on the layer with the ink droplet. Go to select, go to color range. Then make sure you make sure you set on image and then just click the black background. Then just go ahead and click OK and it should select the black background here. As you notice, we can click and drag and then there's just our ink droplet. So then you just want to click the delete key and then bam, we've gone ahead and keyed out our black. So now we can go ahead and just show everything else here. And now we're just going to reposition our thing to wherever we want to. And so now I'm just going to re reference this back here. So. I set it to overlay instead of color burn. So you want to go here to the ink droplet and you want to set it to overlay like this. And then as you notice it's completely overlaying over everything. So now you just want to go ahead and drag the text actually, uh, not the text, you want to drag the text to the top and you want to set the text to overlay as well. And then you, we can go to blending options on the text and add just a little white stroke on it and we're going to click OK and now we're just going to go ahead here and lower the opacity and keep lowering the opacity some more and then pretty much that's it right there that's pretty good right here now as you notice it looks pretty much the same but to go ahead and make the ink droplet look a little better I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hide the text layer I'm going to go back to the layer with the thing on it and I'm going to add in a layer mask and I'm going to grab my eraser tool and I'm going to just start erasing some of it so we just have a clean smooth edge like that now I'm just gonna show my text again and bam there we go as you notice now we have a cardboard background that looks completely amazing and we have a little burned in ink droplet like this so then all you have to do is go to file save as I'll save it as uh, texture 2 and typing with my hurt finger really really hurts so just want to let you guys know I'm going to click OK on that. Wait for a minute, little thingy to load up. And then, as you notice, here we go. That's what we made. As you guys notice, it's a really awesome looking cardboard burn in background. And it looks just completely amazing. And I thought it was awesome. So, yeah, so that's how you guys go ahead and do it. I will leave the links to everything I talked about in the video's description. So, I will leave the link to the uh, How to Make a Tinkernut logo intro just because that was my inspiration for this. Even though my final result turned out nothing like this, I just want to say this was my inspiration. I'll leave a link to the Ink Drops Inside Matrix Time Freeze video so you can just go ahead and screenshot this and then do your cropping. And I'll leave a link to these two texture images because these are actually the most important parts of the image. So I'll leave a link to all of these in the description. And basically that's it. So thanks for watching my video guys. And quick, I just want to show you comparison. Here's my first one. Here's the new one. Here's the first one. Here's the new one. So yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.